So this question is related to DC electricity. The photograph shows an electric skateboard. One particular type of a skateboard uses an electrical motor uh, to a 20 vo 22 volts rechargeable lithium ion battery and fully charged batteries able to pass 36,000 coulombs of charge through the circuit. Will uh, allow continuous operation of a skateboard for a 40 minutes, calculate the total energy stored in a fully charged lithium ion. So the formula to get the energy stored, energy is power into time, or we can also say voltage into current into time. Or there's also another formula, voltage is work done per unit charge. So voltage is energy divided by charge, or we can say energy is equals to voltage into charge. So we can use the second, because the first one, first we have to find the current and then multiply by time. And then, so it is actually the same thing. So energy is voltage into charge. So energy equals voltage, which is 22 volts, the total voltage here, 22. And the charge that is uh, 36,000. So 22 multiplied by 36,000. That will give us 7.92 into 10 to the power 5 joules of energy. This is the energy stored in the lithium ion battery. In part B, the electric skateboard travel at a speed of 16 km per hour. Calculate the time for which the electric skateboard travel to travel to 2 meters. So we have the speed, we have the distance, we just need the time. So we can use a formula speed is equals to distance divided by time. And we assume that the speed is constant, speed is not changing. Otherwise, if it was accelerating, then we should use equation of the motion. So speed is distance over time. So time is equals to distance divided by speed. This is the speed is in kilometer per hour, so 16 kilometer per hour, but time is in, uh, uh, distance is in meter. So we have to convert into kilometer, like same unit should be there. So it will divide by 1000, so 0 0.002 kilometer. So this will be 0 0.002 and divided by speed, which is 16. And as I mentioned here, this is 16 uh, kilometer per hour. Like in one hour, it will cover 16 kilometers. And distance, what we did, we converted a distance into kilometers. So when we get this time, this time will be R. So it will be 0 0.002. Divided by 16, which is 0 0.000. 1 to 5 R. We can convert into minutes, multiply by 60, then multiply by 60. So we can convert into seconds. So it is about 0.45 seconds. So we multiply by 3600 to convert the hours into second. Then while the electric skateboard is in use, the battery provide a constant current, calculate the number of electrons uh, that flow pass a point in a circuit during the time for which electric skateboard travel two meters. So we have the time and we ha already have the previous part. We already have the charge. So we have the formula current is equals to charge divided by time. So first we'll find the total charge which will flow. And uh, one electron is equals to 1.6 expelled minus 19. So this is a total, as I mentioned here, this is a total time. And we have the formula that the current is equals to charge divided by time. And 
and the charge as was there in the pre the first part that was 36,000 coulombs of a charge. And to cover this total two meters, Be because the current is constant, the current is uh, not changing. So we took this 36,000. So first we'll find, and in the, in the first part of the question, So in the first part, the charge was 36,000 Coulomb and it was 40 minutes. So we convert into seconds. So we'll find how much current will flow. So this means 15 ampere will flow. And as I mentioned, the current is constant. So this 15 ampere will remain same. Again, we use the same formula I equals Q over T to know how much charge will flow if the current is 15 ampere in 0.45 seconds. So the charge will be current multiplied by time. The current is 15 and the time is 0 0.45. So this will give us how much charge will flow. That is 6.75 coulombs. And then 6.75 coulomb to know how many electrons will be there. That one electron is equals to 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. So one electron is this much. So if you have 6.75 coulombs, this will be X electrons cross multiply. This will give us the number of electrons which will flow. That is around 4.2 into 10 to the power 19 electrons.